For Deachin, would you rather be doing smaller movie projects like this or doing series work on TV? That's my uh, Any desire to do another feature-length movie someday? And are you really a good cook? Yes, she is. Friend loves my eggplant. Oh. I gotta make you that eggplant. Oh, yeah. Today. Fucking... Oops. It was amazing. I don't know. It's no swearing. No swearing. Um, it was, yeah, I mean, everything was you so good. You love eggplant. I love, I like eggplant, so send um, it, send it to me. I am, I, Tweet I me can some cook eggplant. a few things, a few things very well. Um, a super amazing meal we once had. Only once? No, yeah, I've had a few things. No, it's oh, man, yeah. amazing. Um, I'll cook for you again, darling. We'll do it. We'll do it again before I go. Uh, we want to get her on a cool television show on cable written by Joss Whedon shooting in LA. That's our plan. Yeah, with oh, Fran, right. both of us. Yeah, definitely. If you're I'm going to have a, a recurring character that gets killed off. That's what I want. <laughs> Fran, would your past romantic history be anywhere similar to your character in this movie? Definitely not. Well, I mean... I, <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> does, I mean, I definitely see myself as a romantic type. Uh... I do. I hit on girls all the time, and he's very successful. And a lot of lot of rejection, though, because I think as who, I who would say no? Oh, all the time. I think <laughs> it, you know because as an actor, your life is ninety nine percent rejection. So yeah. as I've gotten older, I've realized, you know, screw it. Just talk to the girl if you think she's cute. If you get rejected, it's no big deal. I deal with it all the time, and so I've I've in that in a weird way, it's given me confidence to approach it. But so I I relate a lot to Astor's just throwing things at a wall and seeing what sticks. Uh, but I also relate to obsessing over girls and falling hard and often. Yeah. I think I... Well, I'm going to shoot. I'm just keep that to myself. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you never know. Uh, and no, the tech genius, I am not. I don't know how. I've never Skyped. I don't even know... I don't even know what's going on. I don't even know what I'm looking it's at. It's very right good now. with the BlackBerry. I love. I'm it's fast. I'm fast on a BlackBerry. And yeah. uh, but no, I'm an idiot with computers. And maybe Aster is too. If anything, if there, if I would, yeah, Aster. Aster seems like uh, not uh, not not a, a luddite. That's not the word I'm thinking of. But no. uh, he's. Uh, he's he seems to me like an old soul before the age of computers and. You know, Steve Jobs. Anyway, um, for Deachin, you keep up with the other actives. Yes, I do. They're all, uh, you know, Dollhouse was amazing. We made uh, so many good friends, you know, friends that I hope I have for life. So, mm. yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Uh, was that in reference to me? No, 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 no. It's in reference. You remember that guy? That one? No, okay. Oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> yeah, he was a little shady. You remember that dude? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, S Tina Colvin. Super independent ventures like Dr. Horrible and The Guild have made DIY film and TV seem increasingly viable. Do you think this close relationship between creators and fans has an effect on content? Uh, I mean, I guess right i i don't know what uh uh what do you think i think you know it, the industry is changing definitely and uh, someone, we don't know where it's yeah well has someone already come up with the sort of idea or has the, that model been created already that that fans can dictate where the movie's going i believe i've already yeah, heard about heard someone that, yeah. doing that like especially like horror films like deciding which character they want to see go and then the movie gets I know. I feel like I've already been reading stuff like that. I mean, that's a very literal example of what this is talking about. You're talking about, but um, I do think you know. I don't know. I mean, that would be interesting. That'd be fun as an actor to sort of you know have that kind of audience relationship. Um, you know, almost like having sort of improv like theater. You know, but doing it as film. You know, and and sort of getting ideas and working with it. I mean, that'd be great. I mean, I I don't know. I th I'm lost. Like I said, I don't know anything about computers and. I think what, the, I don't the even know what DIY film do is. Do it yourself. Oh, okay. Um, but I, <laughs> you were thinking DIY. <laughs> you know, yeah, like, yeah. I was like, whoa. Um, uh, no, it's like a, the whole idea of like um, the community. Like we're all a part of this, you know. And I think mm -hmm. that's that's a nice idea. I mean, maybe it will change things. Maybe it won't. But um, for now, it seems to make sense, and people seem to be responding to mm -hmm. it. So hopefully. Is asking if uh, it Tina Colvin is asking if you think you'll be inclined to do more in the future. I mean, I think it's just always about the material, and if there's something's good and you think you can do something with it, then that's what is most important. Um, 
But uh, that being said, you know, if I ever make a ton of money, I'm never looking back. I don't know. Any, I don't know anyone in this room. Are Felicia and Inver confirmed to be a part of this film yet? P.S. I love you guys. We love you too. <laughs> Um, I don't know. I, yeah, well, I mean, and there is yeah. is definitely going to be. I mean, there was uh, at one point he might have been doing something else, but um, but he just had to be in this movie, so he told them to bugger off. Um, and Felicia, we're you know just trying to work with her schedule because she's, as you know, a very busy woman. So we shall see. Okay. Yeah. Are we we'll doing that, that again? Okay. We, okay. To... Lane. My favorite dollhouse scene featured to Topher's birthday with Sierra. Did you guys have fun? Should we expect that kind of fun dynamic? I think you should. Yeah, I think you should. Yeah. Yeah, probably. I mean, similar but different. I'm really glad to see you guys being featured. Personally, I think you guys are fantastic. Fran, especially... Fran, you're so cool. Uh, no, That's Shannon. a little love guys... letter to Fran. Uh, smaller production. Wow, I mean, that was just like a big, like, I love you guys. Yeah. Thanks, Lane. Aaron em Emery, I absolutely cannot wait for this project. I know as under, what is your favorite sci-fi fantasy TV show? I do, and does Fran have Twitter? I do have Twitter. It's Fran Kranz, at Fran Kranz, right? It's got yeah. a little Zelda, a little a Link, old school, the original Very Nintendo. Old school. The original. Um, and I like, I like, uh, Firefly, Firefly yeah. Battlestar, Star Wars is my favorite movie, the first yeah. one, or number four, or whatever the kids these days call it, A New Hope, the one with Alec Guinness, and, uh, Lauren Ard, my question, because of Dollhouse, you guys have a lot of sci-fi fans, hoping you'll incline, I'm hoping you'll incline some geek-tastic Easter eggs in your film. I saw this earlier today. As what a tribute, I don't know what that is. I mean, I know what an Easter egg is, but not like in quotes like this. Is it something dirty? It sounds really dirty. We'll look into it and we'll try and... What uh, are your thoughts yeah, about this? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. It sounds really dirty. Geek-tastic Easter eggs. I mean, last time I made an Easter egg was like, a, a, I used to, I liked doing it. I like Easter egg hunts. Well, um, we'll see. If we'll we talk. Can. We'll get back to you, yeah, Lucas Straub. Fran, are you a gamer or do you just play a geek? Um, if so, will you be getting MW three next week? I'm assuming that's Modern Warfare three, right? Yeah, yeah I I'm bet. Guessing. I bet. I have the first one. Thing is, I have an Xbox three sixty. I got a Wii, but I just don't. I don't play it. I used to play a lot. I I played, but old school stuff. Like, I had an old school Nintendo in my college room. I left Hudson Adventure Island on for seven days. <laughs> it was crazy. <laughs> Wasted a lot of crazy time with old school Nintendo. Um, uh, so I have a lot of that on the Wii. But honestly, these days, I don't play much anymore. I have a lot of unopened games. Like, I feel like I probably like Modern Warfare. Last, last like, new game I played was Bioshock. And I, I beat that. And I was... Rad game. I don't even know. Would you kindly is. read the next question? Yes. Eric. Bioshock. Bob Barbara. Uh, Barbara? Did you guys plan from the start uh, of all working together with actors and friends from your shows? Um, uh, and any update on Cabin in the Woods, please? I mean, that's, uh, Anton would probably be better informed, in it. but yeah, I think, you know, he had the script, he wanted it read, so obviously, you know, we see each other a lot and... We, we do readings a lot like yeah. this or in some capacity. So I think it sort of grew naturally out of that, having, you know, us work read it out loud and, you know, who fits what. Um, and, yeah, so I guess, yeah, I guess, yes. And not, uh, at the end of the yeah, short answer. Uh, Cabin in the Woods, I don't know, April 13th. I saw it twice and it's fucking rad. Uh, excuse me. Um, but that's it. 